Welcome to the Holly Area Community Show. I'm your host Jody, and I'm here once again at Holly High School with the Holly uh, band director, um, the play director, and we're here under the auspice of the fact that you are the play director of the play. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Wonderful. So um, I see some cast members milling around, and I thought I would just They're talk. About. Yes, so I thought I would talk to a few of them um, and kind of get the concept of the play and um, get. Sure. Okay. They can explain it as well as I can. Super. Thank you. So I can go right in. Go ahead. Okay. Well, here looks like someone kind of crabby. So what is your role in the play? Uh, I am uh, Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge. See, okay, and, and your name is? Uh, Kevin, Kevin Wander. Kevin Wander, so that must be a pretty big role. <laughs> it's uh, kind of the main one. It's the main <laughs> one, so how's that going? Pretty good. We've had a few ups and downs, but I think it'll come together in the end. So do you know actually how many lines you have to prepare for? Too many to count. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're all excited about it. We did that when I was a senior, and I know I, uh, it was a, a real fun play to watch. So good luck to you and the rest of the cast. Thank you. Let's see who else we have around here. Oh, and here we have Abby Jerick. Hi, Abby. Hi. And so you are in the play, which you normally are, and what's your character? I'm the ghost of Christmas present. The ghost of Christmas present. So what is your character, ha what kind of role is that in the play? My character is really jolly, and he likes to explain to Scrooge what he needs to do to change his life. Wow, so I, I think I remember that being a pretty central character, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and, and jolly, I bet you play that well. I try. <laughs> so how is it going? How is the play going overall? I think it's going pretty well. Things are going to come together pretty nicely in the end, I think. Well, I better let you get back to preparing, so let's see who else we have around here. Oh, and there's Porter Ludwig, so I'm assuming you're in the play as well. Yep. And what is your character? I am Jacob Marley, Scrooge's dead business partner. Okay, how do you play a dead person? <laughs> a lot of makeup. <laughs> and, and how's that going for you? How's the character going? Pretty good. I've had to memorize a lot of lines, and there's a lot of wailing. As a ghost? Wait, a lot of wailing? Yeah. Do you want to give us an example of the wailing? Or... <laughs> oh, did they cast you right? <laughs> well, great. I heard that it's a really fun play to do, yeah. and I'm looking forward to seeing it. So right. let's see who see. else we have around here. Well, hello. I see another character from the play, Bailey Halverson. Yep. Yes, so welcome to the show. Now, what character do you have in the play? I'm the narrator. You're the narrator. That sounds like a lot of lines. Yeah, but I get my script with me the whole time since I'm not actually on stage. <gasps> wow, so did they pick the person who um, has the hardest job studying lines to give them that character? or? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I've seen you in performances before, and you always do a great job. Oh, yeah. So you're the narrator, so I'm assuming that you set up the play, or, or how does that work? Um, I guess I just tell the story as it goes. Yeah, I guess I set it up a bit in the beginning. Okay. And what, what is the story? R refresh people with the story of A Christmas Carol is. It's about an old cranky guy who um, is visited by three spirits on Christmas Eve, and they each reveal to him um, the opportunities he wasted in the past and um, his current cruelties, like in the present, and then his like the dire fate that awaits him in the future if he doesn't redeem himself or stop being cranky and stuff. Wow, the dire fate and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it, it's all coming back to me. It's a great time of year to do this. It kind of gets, puts you in the Christmas spirit. Yeah. Yeah, well, great. How is it going overall? It's going pretty well. I think, I think it's going to be good by next week. So you have to be ready. What is the date, actual date of the show? Um, we'll ask Wander about yeah. that. I'm going to interview Wander, so okay, we'll ask good. him about that. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, good luck to you and the rest of the cast. Hope you have a good time because I, n I remember plays being such a good time. Yeah. Yeah. And we're back with Keith Wander, uh, the director of A Christmas Carol. Is it The Christmas Carol or A, 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 a Christmas, Christmas Carol, Carol, which will be performed this week at Holly High School. So, yes. uh, so I met some of the kids that are in the in the play and I'm just mm -hmm. wondering how's it going overall uh, overall uh, the the acting is going very well the uh, the set is a little challenging so we're a little behind on our set 
Um, but uh, nothing that some long hours won't fix. Really? And so. you have a, te a team of kids to do that, or do pretty much uh, the actors yes, take part in Yes, there is it? a team of kids that's working on that. And there, uh, we uh, had a couple of our key people graduate last year. Mm. And uh, so they're, they're getting their legs yet. And we've got one more show to do uh, right after this one, the, the one-act play. And then uh, right after that, we go into musical again. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, it's, it's a never-ending stream of, of drama, you could say it, <laughs> right? <laughs> but you do such a great job, and I oh, know the kids you. really enjoy it, that you get pretty much the same actors, or do you, do you have no, other kids coming in and out? it's different every, every season. I mean, we have mm -hmm. three seasons of drama, so. Yeah. And so did you select the play? Or yes. You did? Yes. And what made you choose this play? particular play. I love A Christmas Carol mm -hmm. and it's I've, I've wanted to do it for a long time and just never found the opportunity. Finally did and I thought it was going to be easy to pick a script and... Oh because there's so many different scripts of it. hundreds. Really? Um, I mean it, it varies so much. Uh, one of the scripts I read uh, Scrooge's nephew is actually his niece. So um, wow. a lot of liberties taken. It's public domain. Okay, and so, so people can play with that and make it, yes. put a twist on things. Right. Wow, and I suppose you have to take into account that the kids who are interested in being in the fall play and plugging in characters with certain kids, or did you, how do well, you do we that? we audition. Um, yeah. it's, uh, it's always challenging to try to draw guys in, and there's a lot of male characters in this, oh. so there's some doubling. Yeah. Um, where kids will play two or three different roles. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff for girls in this too, and our uh, actors are also our stage crew, and there's a lot of set moving and things during mm -hmm. the scene. Um, the, the stage will be darkened on one side so somebody can work while they're acting on another mm -hmm. side. It's, it's that old magician's sleight of hand yeah. where you keep them enter entertained over here and we're doing something else over here. Now that I've said that, everybody will be watching yeah, for well, that. Yeah, <laughs> I always watch anyway. I do. You like to see the, the kids in the black shirts, you know? Uh, but the kids do seem excited. They seem a little like they, they want it to all come together, and they're not quite sure, but they're, they seem really excited about it. Oh, they are. They and are. so when is this performed? Uh, the uh, two performances are uh, the 15th and 16th, Thursday and Friday. Uh, and if the football team should happen to win on um, on Friday, and knock on Plastic. surrogate wood, <laughs> um, then uh, we would be down in Minneapolis during that. Okay. And so we would just lose that performance, and then we would move our performance, or we wouldn't even move our performance. We'd just do our Friday performance. Oh, and then you do it for the school as well, right? The, right, the and that's right now is scheduled for Thursday morning. Oh. And uh, so if the football team goes, we'll be leaving pretty early because they're early in the oh. afternoon. So uh, we would move that to Friday. Any chance you could do the performance, like, on some Saturday or something before Christmas? Well, or? we're in Christmas season. Yeah, so I suppose you're very busy. it's boom, boom, boom. Uh, two days after the show, we have our uh, band concert Okay. on Tuesday, and we have a guest conductor coming in for that. Uh, you may know him. Uh, his name is Richard Hansen. Of course I know him. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what we, we I think we should come back. I would love to talk to him as well, but um, we've, we're out of time. So um, let's talk about the music stuff um, in a later date. That sounds real good. Super. Thanks for coming to the show. Have fun with the play. Until next time. Mm -hmm.